Hey, yo, Saints Twitter really is the greatest fan base on every social media platform. I asked a simple question. I thought Derek Carr had a pretty good game in the preseason against the 49ers. So I say, well, how do y'all feel about Derek Carr after that game? Here's what some of them had to say. One angry midget says the NOPD needs to arrest his ass for accessory to murder with those damn 187 passes he throws. Not one wide receiver will be alive by week eight. Well, I guess maybe that means we can call Michael Thomas and let him rightfully finish his career as a New Orleans Saint. Think about it, man. Derek Carr knows what he's doing. Give Derek some credit. Remy says he played insurance salesman and trainers. See, what y'all going to do is y'all going to stop calling these second and third stringers future insurance salesmen, okay? Like, it actually takes a lot of work, and the process to become an insurance salesman is very rigorous and tedious, okay? So put some respect on these future insurance salesmen name, okay? I'm tired of this insurance salesman disrespect. I'm tired of it. St. Mex says, garbage was hot garbage. All right, watch out, Eminem. A new white boy challenger has emerged. He got bailed by Taysom Hill on that scoring drive. Horrible passes, all of them. Ah, oh, come on, now. let's be a little fair. Not all of them. He had at least one. Jeez. <laughs> My guy, know the CJ2 says, I believe a magical unicorn that shifts gold will appear in my yard before a lemon bitch boy will lead my team to a Super Bowl. You know how much hatred you got to have for somebody to not only envision a magical unicorn that shifts gold, not brown, but gold, but also to call that man the same sentence, lemon bitch boy, not bitch man, but lemon bitch boy. My goodness. Neil Scott says, Derek Carr reminds me of the blue 81 Isuzu I mark I drove in high school. It was 13 years old, lacked acceleration, then break squeaked, in all caps, then break squeaked something fierce. Tape deck worked sometimes, and it had a great passenger side door. Sure, it ran. Didn't mean I didn't want a better car, pun intended. All right, here's what we're not going to do. We're not going to do any metaphors, okay? Our head coach doesn't know what a metaphor is, so right now it is a no metaphor zone in the Who That Nation. Come correct and come better next time. Shaquille O'Hill, a.k.a. Kyrie, is a bitch. God damn, how much hatred you got to have to dedicate your, your whole profile to in Kyrie? He asks, am I on Xanax? Well, I'm not going to say that I am, but I'm not going to say that I'm not. But if I was, fire Dennis Allen, bench Derek Carr. I wonder what his opinion is. <laughs> he says, no, this game just confirmed to me that Derek Carr is autistic. Now, come on, now. Uh, that's not fair to the autistic people. Come on, now. But not all is lost for Derek Carr because there are some Raiders fans who still believe in him and come to Saints Twitter every now and then. And this guy says, the Kardashians, wow, we really love our Derek Carr puns in these fan bases, huh? The Kardashians will always find a way. Oh, look, it started raining. Fuck Carr. It's his fault that it's raining. He actually makes a good point. I was stubbing my toe the other day and I was like, God damn it, this is Derek Carr's fault. Out of him or Dennis Allen, I just blame those two for anything at this point. So it's safe to say that Saints fans are not fans of Derek Carr right now, but... All you got to do is win, Derek Carr, and I think that you can change the tide. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? Saints fans hate that guy. Saints fans hate that guy. Huh, I'll see you guys next time in the land of Saints Twitter. This shit more than a game.